Hello all, this is Eloy from Alter and I'm going to tell you how to consider global and local backlink modes differently when you're doing an optimization with Alter Orchestra. This is something quite difficult to do optimization considering backlink modes and um, it is also typical that you may want to track them across the uh, across the optimization, across the iterative process and it's uh, typical that you want to um, consider them differently right uh, because of different uh, well, requirements or because of different uh, well or assumptions that you have made in the model and somewhat you care more for ones or the others in any case uh, i will leave that to you but let's let's go on to see how we achieve that with uh, of the you will see that it's rather easy once you know uh, the the entities that you need to define so that i have I have one small model here see that it's a, basically a, a plate with some stiffeners, right? And we have uh, two thicknesses, two design variables, one for the base plate and the other for the stiffeners. Um, also, uh, it, well, typically in a simple manner, I have two responses, uh, the mass and the backlink, uh, the backlink, the backlink factor, basically, uh, the, the, the eigenvalue, we could, we could call it and uh, with uh, just one constraint on the eigenvalue itself. Right? This is the base simple optimization that we have um, to um, illustrate this case. On the right hand side I have run the, the baseline, the, the, the initial, my initial design, and I'm showing at the top, this is the first mode, to illustrate uh, what a local model would look like or what I mean by local model. And on the bottom side, this is the first global mode, which of course, as you can see, you see that what well, the, the, let's say that the, the eigenvector represents a more global shape, right? But of course, this is going to depend on the model itself. And it is, um, well, uh, I would say that it's reasonable that you, in this case, you run a baseline and even that you do a small calibration uh, to define what accounts for a local model and global model. This is what you're going to, uh, what you will need to provide uh, OptiStrack so that the solver does this at every iteration. Let's uh, review this, this model a little bit in, in Hypermesh and I will open the, this in my text editor as well. So um, again, design variables. The typical thing that you would find in all your optimization models. Again, this is a size variables with, of course, we have also our design variable relation, the design variable property relationships, which are basically uh, the identity function in this case. And we have my objective right here, and I have responses showing you mass and backlink mode. And I have my optimization constraint. So typical thing, except for one thing, and we see here in the constraint, you see that basically we have two lower bounds, one for local backlink and the other one or well, the general one, which is the, the global, the global backlink. Okay, so this is where the first place where you need to be uh, careful on, on how to define on how to define this. Right? Let's see that. Let's the, the, let's see the rest uh, with uh, with our text editor. Well. I didn't, I didn't show it, but we have one linear static subcase and one uh, linear backlink subcase here. And of course, the reference to the, to the objective function and to the constraints, right? Let's, well, you see the design variables, the design variable property relationships, the responses, again, typical. And then we see the constraints, right? So if you are used to see this, again, you'll see that we have uh, well, we have the um, two values here, which is two lower uh, lower bounds, right? Uh, and and 
this is basically as I showed you in, in Hypermes to take uh, take in account them differently. The important part is uh, these two parameters that we have here, right? And I'll show you in the documentation, we'll, we'll see what they represent, right? I'm going to read that for you. So this parameter, dk local one, any grid with eigenvertor greater, greater than the specified value are considered as the backlink zone, right? So basically, you see that this is a real value. In my model, what I have is point 0.6 basically and you might have noticed that I have modified my legend here with 0.6 and 0.6 so basically what is in red this illustrates the values so that are above the threshold right so you can already see that typically in a global mode we'll have more modes that which magnitude of the Aiken vector is is basically higher right so this is what represents and depending on our model we may need to adjust this value for VK local 2, if the size of the backlink zone determined by the previous parameter for any modes goes over the specified number of elements, they will be considered as global backlink modes. So, basically, we see very clearly in these two modes that here, of course, we have red in both results, in both uh, uh, modes, but here we just have very few elements. I'm going to show you the mesh again. In this model too so we have pretty much well, a few a bunch of elements and here we have a lot of elements so when when this condition happens basically the solver is going to consider them as a global uh, as a global mode right so that is basically so what what one needs to define i would recommend that you put some attention uh, first on 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 these so these two values, right? You may not get them right at the first uh, at the first shot, uh, so you can calibrate a little bit more uh, in the beginning, or you just can uh, carry on with your optimization and then adjust later, right? Here, the values you will see that they uh, they are quite well adjusted. So let's uh, let's go for define a model. So this is the base one, and I'm going to define the same lower bound for both local and global modes. And I'm going to run it. Okay. Also, while this is running, I'm going to show you that I have two more models prepared, right? So this that I call 3045, basically 3045. And what does it mean? So that means that the lower band for the global mode is 30 and for the local mode is 45. So, so in this case, I'm being more restrictive uh, uh, on the local uh, on the local modes. And I have this other two, this other, this other file, which is the opposite, basically 45 and 30, 45 and 30. So again, this is global and this is local. So in this case, I let's say that I care more about uh, the global ones, right? So um we will see that well you will will be it will be likely that we see that the optimization takes us to different places right and with more thickness in the base plate or uh, on the stiffeners uh, depending on what we run so he, while we were talking the we have our results and let's let's go for it so let's open the first the add file So I am assuming that you know a little bit on how to know the, the basics of uh, OptiStrack and read this, this, these out files, not putting that much attention. So you see that first in the iterations. And the first thing that you might not know is that here, next to every uh, mode, we see an L for local or basically to uh, or, or nothing for global modes, right? And we see the typical violations, right? And we see that how this evolves over time. So in the iteration two, we don't have any any local mode. Then we have them again, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When we go to the end, we'll, what we see is that we have certain modes that are active, uh, that are local or global. And this is the final results for the um, for the thicknesses. So let's uh, let me run while this 
happens, I'm going to run both of the both the other models, and we'll start to see a little bit of the of the models while while this is happening, right? So I'll get this to run. Okay, and while this is while this uh, happens, uh, I'm going to show the the model. In this case, just for well to to show. Uh, something uh, a little different, right? I'm going to load the results directly in Hypermesh. So let's go for iteration 16. I'm going to make Current, so you could be uh, post-processing this in um, in Hyperview uh, in, in the same manner. Typically, that you may not know, that you may know already. But um, well, this is another option that we can do in recent versions. So I'm going to just try this. Uh, I'm going to try this. Why not? So we see that. Well, the, let's let's review iteration sixteen. We were seeing that in the last iteration, the first mode was global and definitely looks model. The second one looks, well, let me check. I should do this 0.6. So I would say that this one is local. Yes, it's local. Then we have more local, more local. And then the last ones are global. So see, you see that we have, well, let's say 0.6. We have calibrated this uh, quite well, right? So um, you see that this basically has has worked, right? So just to finish. I'm going to show you if we were right in our what we were expecting, basically, right? So we have here, these are the values of the thicknesses at the end, right? Just to remember, just to show you, the, the official one is the is the is the base plate, and official two is the well are the represented stiffeners, right? So Basically, here, the baseline model, we have this 1.02, 1.17. Let's open the other out files. So the 3045, if we remember, 3045 means that we are uh, being stricter in the local modes. Right, so we could expect that uh, the thickness that uh, that increases more is the second one. So, as expected, and if I compare with the other one, of course, well, it, it, it looks definitely that this has increased more. And if I go to the um, to forty five thirty, going to show that. In the other side, okay. So on the left hand side, this 4035. This on the right hand side, this is what just we have seen. And well, we see that in the first in, in 4530, in which we put more stress or, 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 or we are stricter with the global modes, we see that the base plate needs to increase as well. Right, we don't see a lot of change in uh, in the um, in the stiffeners. We need them anyway, it seems. But uh, things change with the with the with the base plate. We could be analyzing this. We could be seeing which modes are are active. We can see that we still see that global and local is identified is identified well. So with this, I conclude this video. Hopefully, do this was uh, useful for you, and uh, this will uh, this will allow you how to consider 
this uh, this kind of this kind of constraints more efficiently or having more control over them. So uh, don't forget to to like and subscribe if you like this uh, and to see more some more of our videos about Altair uh, in general and Optistract in particular. See you next time.